It looks like North Korea can't keep Seth Rogen and James Franco down. As the two best friends stared each other in the eyes, they knew that this might be the end of the long road. And even though neither one could say it out loud, they were both thinking, One thing they definitely can fall in love with are the 190 plus theaters that will be showing their movie, including at least one right here in Tucson. We sent Justin Shecker to the Loft Cinema to find out why they decided to run this flick, and he joins us in studio with more. Yeah, hey, Guy and Stella, independent theaters like the Loft Cinema don't typically show major studio movies, but flicks like the interview don't always become symbols of free speech. So that's why the Loft Cinema is taking a stand against censorship. This afternoon, the Loft Cinema changed its marquee. Yes. What? Just like Sony changed its mind in the morning. The interview will open on Christmas Day at select theaters nationwide. I think Sony made a mistake in pulling it off the original plan. AMC's loss is the loft's gain. This is probably not a film we would have gotten otherwise. But most major studio comedies aren't at the center of sophisticated cyber hacks and the censorship debate. Jeff Yance is the loft's program director. I think this is a real piece of history now. It's a political statement. I think it's a really important film in the history of free speech now. And we as an independent theater really wanted to be part of that and give people the opportunity to see it. The movie itself is very silly and it wasn't meant to be controversial in any way. Despite the hackers' threats. I don't like to live in fear. Yet says there's still plenty of demand to see the duo of Seth Rogen and James Franco attempt to assassinate the North Korean dictator. Literally within an hour of putting the tickets on sale, we'd sold dozens and dozens of tickets already. And I'm coming on Christmas Day. You already bought your tickets? No, I'm going to buy them now. Is it sending a message to the North Koreans that we're not going to stand for this type of censorship? Hell yes. Am I allowed to say that on TV? Okay. <laughs> and no need to censor that. And guys, the first of the Lofts for Christmas Day screenings is at 2 o'clock. Now, there may be some extra security, not because of safety concerns, but rather to deal with the, the extra crowds and the size of the crowds that day. Now, if you're headed up to Phoenix for the holiday, the Harkins Valley Art Theater in Tempe will also start showing the interview on Christmas Day. All right, Justin, thank you very much.